Hi, I'm Phoebe Wood. I won the Oliphant Trophy in 2019 for my entry and Kiwanis Huxleyi. This video is about helping you understand what you're getting yourself into to make a good Models and Inventions entry. Number one, read the Models and Inventions entry information provided by SASTA. Understanding the objectives, rules and limitations on size and weight is never a bad idea. Read the judging rubric to see what the judges are looking for. Number two, choosing your subject. Some schools may have a theme they want you to work to. So try to find something that can be demonstrated well with a model or invent something new. If you really love something that doesn't fit the theme, talk to your teacher. Or you can still do it in your own time at home. I'm fascinated by birds and the evolution of flight and dinosaurs. And so I followed my own interests and made Scotty here at home. I chose Anchuanus Huxleyi because it was the first dinosaur that they fully reconstructed the colour of. A great scientific breakthrough that I could demonstrate. And it fit the models and invention size limit, so I could do mine life sized. Although, you can always scale down whatever your project is. Number three, research your project thoroughly. Google is your friend. Mum and I googled Anchionis Huxleyi and found a lot of information, which we printed to read later. We found a recent scientific paper written by a team of paleontologists. When we read it, there were a lot of words Mum didn't understand. So I highlighted them and then looked them up and wrote them in a glossary of these new terms. This doesn't count toward your project itself, but a good understanding of your subject is really important. Number four, ask questions. Talk to or email the people who know more than you. I emailed Professor Michael Pittman at Hong Kong University and paleo artist Scott Hartman from Wisconsin University. I emailed the museum model maker, but he didn't have time to help me. Some people just can't help sometimes. Don't take it personally. Just ask someone else instead. Five, trial and error. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Don't give up, learn from what doesn't work. Once you've done your research, draw it up. This is really handy to help you figure out what you'll need for the actual construction. You may have a lot of false starts and failed attempts. That's okay. You learn as much from what doesn't work as from what does. Keep at it. I made many models that didn't work as I wanted them to. We went to the SA Museum and looked at models there. We visited model shops and asked questions. A man in one gave us a sample of a thermoplastic called Warbler. I went home and made this skull out of it. The first skull I made, I accidentally melted. But the second one was perfect. I had learned a lot. What not to do as much as what to do. Always try to think outside the box and find out other products you can use for your project. Try new techniques on a scrap first, not on your good one. Number six, finishing touches. Time to think critically and check everything. Does it look good? Does it have accurate scientific content? And does it demonstrate it? Does it work? Remember, it needs to be interactive in some way. I made one wing move, and the whole model is built on a Lazy Susan. 
I showed what melatonin looked like and I attached a small magnifying glass. Have you done your risk assessment and report? I did say think of everything. Remember to ask permission if you use anything that is copyrighted. Tip for parents and teachers. Please encourage us. Assist us in finding information related to our topic. Library books, articles, scientific papers, diagrams and sourcing materials help us. If a child is really keen on a particular project and committed to doing the work, we can do amazing things. We just need your support and encouragement. A good project takes lots of time. So, teachers, please be generous with your lessons plan for us. Seven, deadline. Set your own personal deadline a few days before the actual Oliphant Science Award due date to give yourself a bit of spare time up your sleeve if anything goes wrong or needs to be corrected. Eight, I'm sure you're all getting tired of this video, so I'll wrap it up here. Good luck and see you at the open day.